Hello, this is Ken with KRCIMS.com. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about keywords in the searching forum. If you go to AdWords Google, select Keyword Tool External. Basically all you got to do is go to Google and type in Keyword Tool and it will get you over to the Keyword Tool extract External. Uh, they use this for AdWords, but it's a great resource for searching out your keywords. I typed in sandblasting, clicked on get keywords, and at this point I have everything in alphabetical order. What I'll do is I'm going to go for um, the uh, search volume here, so sandblasting in and of itself. 201,000 local, that's United States, global, 368,000, that's worldwide. But you can go through here and you can find some keywords that match up to your website or your business. And that's how you go about finding some keywords. What I did was use the keywords for the azglassclasses.com forum uh, video that I made last week. So if I want to go into sandblasted glass, and I did the search for that, and if we scroll down just a little bit, there we are, about, uh, I don't know, five or six down. Let's see how many we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we're eleven down, but nonetheless, we're still on the front page of YouTube under sandblasted glass. That's about uh, uh, shown one of 20 through 99 videos total. So we're up on top there. The next thing I wanted to do was sandblasting equipment. In sandblasting equipment, here's my title, here's my description, and then it's also within my tags. And uh, So if I click on this here, Pause that. And one of the things that you want to do is you want to put your uh, address, web address, right in that first line so it shows up so that people are able to click on it. It'll take you right to the website. If there's slow points in the video. People tend to uh, hit the description here, and you can go down and take a look. It's set up in the how to and style category sandblasting equipment, my tags, engraved glass, engraved stone, etched glass. Then I have sandblast cabinets, which is one of mine here, and that sandblast cabinet is on number two. Now there's only 33 videos on sandblast cabinets, but nonetheless, it's it's still showing number two on uh, the YouTube pages. Now here's what I really like the most. Okay, in Google search, now out of 500 and 93,000 results for sandblast cabinets. The video that I did for my sandblast cabinet is still on front page. It's been on front page for a long time. So let's let's scroll back up here for a minute. Sandblasting cabinets. Hit enter. And I'll just scroll down a little bit. And you can see that's still there. Now hitting that, clicking on that, it'll bring up my YouTube site. Taking a little bit of time there for some reason. YouTube sandblast cabinets. There it is. Let's see if I click on that. Okay, once again, I have my web address right here in the, the first line of the description. And then I've got a few things in there, including the web address to azglassclasses.com, how to install, and I have sandblast cabinet, sand, blasting glass work. Engraving, sandblasting, and tools. Uh, YouTube kind of put those in there. But for me to get uh, front page on Google, 
with the video uh, that that holds a lot of power so that's why I push video as much as I do if you can get get something up here on your video pages then you're gonna put yourself ahead of the game in the search engine results so going back to the keyword tool here this will give you all the keywords this is your advertiser competition how many people are uh, out there advertising for this particular thing keyword and then you have your search volumes both local and globally now if we wanted to do something like sandblasting stone and we'll click to get the keyword ideas you can do this on your website content too I'll do that in another video but look at all the different things under under and related to sandblasting stone pet memorials, memorial stones, concrete cleaning, grave markers, brick cleaning, pet stones you know on down the line you can search this stuff yourself and, and take a look at a couple of these things and see if any of them fit within your business and you can take a look at these keywords here and see how important they are how many searches there there are for these items and they do vary but if you use some of the lower ranking um, numbers here and you have it in there like pet gravestones okay that, that's more likely to get you some more searches because there's less competition out there for those so just a little brief run rundown on keywords hope this helps you out a little bit so this is Ken with KRCIMS and hope you have a great day thanks for watching